Technology Readiness Level TRL Technology readiness levels are a method of estimating a technology's maturity. So, what are the TRLs? TRL 1 The basic principles are observed and reported. To help you understand in simple terms, I'll use the example of a tyre. So one day you're playing around in a lab and it hits you. You come up with a new synthetic rubber compound. You report it and start investigating, well, what's next? TRL 2. This is where invention begins. The basic principles have been observed so practical applications can be formulated. In the case of the rubber, this rubber could be used for vehicles' tyres. TRL 3 is the proof of concept. Analytical and laboratory studies are required to see if the technology is viable. The rubber is tested for strength and forming capabilities to prove it's suitable to be made into a tyre. TRL 4 – Laboratory Testing of a Prototype Component Here you test the rubber to see if it has appropriate wear characteristics. TRL 5 – Laboratory Testing of the Integrated System the rubber is used to construct a prototype tyre and tested on a wheel. TRL 6 – A prototype system demonstrated in an operational environment. The tyre is mounted on a wheel and tested on a rolling road. TRL 7 – The design is virtually complete and tested in a real environment. At this point, the tyre is tested on a vehicle on the road. TRL 8 – Proven to work under its expected conditions and certified to be used. The certification will allow the tyre to be used on the road. TRL 9 – The system has successfully proven to function and is ready for commercial deployment. The tyre has been tested through a life cycle to ensure it is safe for use. Above TRL 9 is introduction to the market. The product is launched commercially. These are the technology readiness levels brought to you by Warren Bath. For more information, check out the description below. Thank you for watching.